Where is almost average? What is where is he? Oh, there he is. I can hear you. What's up? What's up? Do I have out something for you? Uh, I don't know. Do you? What you yeah. got? I have two diamonds. Two two diamonds on with I was act I went on a shopping spree, so I uh, I was actively mining some just now. Well talking about shops right now, can you follow me real quick? I wanna show you something. Yeah, let's go. Do you feel lucky? One diamond and the green shulker and pick a book from one of the two chiseled book stands. No backseats. Hey, I like the sound of this. There is a jackpot in it. I do like a jackpot. And a lot of cool. And there was also poems about Zedas. Maybe a poem of you. You never know. You might find one. Where's the... Oh, there's the green shulker. All right. So I just put one in so and then take a book. I, I, yep, yep. I opened this and it sold out in like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love just a little bit of gambling, you know? Exactly. Oh, what did you get? I got a food coupon. Pretty good. Where are you going again? I, I'm addicted. Mega mega <laughs> coupon. No, you got it. I did. That that's such a good one. What does this one go to? Just just, just read it. You know what? I got oh, one I more imagine. diamond. I'm gonna mine a bunch more anyway. Right now, we're doing it. Are you gonna go for it? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, which one oh. did you pick? Which color? Uh, pink that time. Oh, okay. You're very lucky. You're not getting enchanted books. One free wisdom from Bleaker. All right, so we just returned from the shopping district with Geek. Managed to get a few fun things from the... Oh, God, I don't even remember the shop name. Basically, lucky, lucky bookshelves, bookshelf... And sh lucky bookshelf we're gonna go with lucky bookshelf i don't think it was anywhere close to that but anyway we went ahead we hit lucky bookshelf got a mega mega coupon which is megateca will stare at me for one minute so get ready for that at some point uh we also got a bleaker coupon which we get one free wisdom from bleaker so uh he's currently not online but when he is we'll have to go ahead and get one of those wisdoms from him and we also got a book and quill now i don't actually have anything to write in this just yet it's always nice to have one so we'll go ahead we'll put all these in a special chest somewhere somewhere i won't lose them hopefully currently my uh storage is an absolute mess i've got two chests of things over there i got a chest of stuff down there there's stuff inside that house inside that house inside that house and in the starter house that i built and in this sewer system so all of our stuff is all over the place right now it's not too big of a deal yet. We don't have that much. Most of it's being used for various projects. But what we're working on right now, which I'm gathering a lot of stuff for, none of this was for that. Uh, we got an ender chest, and uh, we also got some golden carrots from Geek's food shop. Down here, though, we are working on... I swear to God, I dug that out. I just have to put ladders there. We are working on a melon and pumpkin farm. So the melon and pumpkin farm... Uh, I've got some stuff growing here, so we've got things to plant in it. We need that to get emeralds from villagers. So I'm getting some more villagers bred up right now. I've opened up the system again. They are stacking up down here, but we need villagers and we need emeralds so that we can start making some shops in the shopping district for diamonds. Diamonds are actually not that hard to mine this season, but for the quantity we need or the quantity I want, we're going to need way more. So we need to open up a shop. Hello! Hello. So you want to redeem your coupon, eh? I, I do. Mm -hmm. okay. Here's my, my mega mega coupon. Mm -hmm. Let me just remember it. Right. Ah, okay, it is this, okay.
I do love you guys. This was the best diamond I've ever spent. I completely forgot about the villager reader. And it looks like the safety commission has been to our place and states that these villagers need a home ASAP. Unfortunately, we can't just leave them down in the sewer. And according to Article 1.6B of the Villager Safety Net, uh, we got to get these guys into a home. So that's what we're going to be working on right now. I've got the Villager Breeder turned off now. Uh, should have done that before I went AFK, but completely forgot. Guess I should go to sleep too. But yeah, we're going to work on getting these villagers a home. So I'm going to go ahead, get that area dug out because we've got a whole plan for these villagers. Fortunately, we do plan on using a lot of villagers, so it's good that we've got them all there now. Unfortunately, however, there are way too many. I don't even know if we're going to be able to use all these, and I am just getting more and more trapped in here. This is the railway. I'm trying to get these guys out, but we are we are stuck in here. And actually, we actually look the same as these guys. You're not even going to be able to pick us out of a crowd. One of us. One of us. One of us. All right, so we've got the villagers coming down. I've built up a railway here uh, just to move them all down into this villager trading hall that we've got going on. Unfortunately, oh God, yeah, did not get the rails down in time, but we can probably catch this guy with the, nope. And okay, all right. Okay, so that one's gone, that one's gone. But here we go. We gotta get this guy pushed back in so we don't lose two right through me. Okay, well, Look at this guy, just sadly down there all by himself. This guy wandered off and got himself in a little bit of a pickle down there, but I think I think I actually might know something we can do to rescue this guy. So let's just go down here. Luckily we have an elytra now, so we can just pop on down here. I think we should be able to rescue this guy, uh, just so you know we can use him in some of our, our projects maybe. We just gotta get rid of this block right here and yeah. All right, perfect. I think we saved him. Ooh, look, diamonds. All right, I've been moving a lot of these villagers over here. I think I've kind of got a technique down now. I just basically have to get rid of one rail and it'll fly over uh, to the next rail. And then we pretty much have villagers right where we need them. So we just lined both of them up in there. Perfect. We just gotta keep doing that until this whole thing's full. All right, I may have sent these last two too quickly. Broke the wrong block, okay. Got them across. Break that one now. Perfect, we got one more. And okay, I didn't have time to break that block, but we do have them here and he can't go all the way back because we destroyed that rail at least this time. All right, so we pretty much have all the villagers we need over here. Uh, so I'm just going ahead, I'm starting to get all the trading done with them to get their levels built up. We've got a bunch of farmers, we've got some stonemasons, we've got some uh, alchemists, is that the ones with the, the brewing standard called? I don't actually remember. We've also got some uh, librarians, I think the other ones are clerics now that I'm thinking of it. Clerics, I could have checked, who cares. But anyway, we've got all these down here now, so we're going to go ahead and start getting their levels up. I made the melon and the pumpkin farms, uh, so we've got those going now. Um, and yeah, we can go ahead and start getting all these built up, and I'm starting to get a lot of levels from these as well. Alright, so this was the area down here where all the villagers came from. I, unfortunately, I didn't make anything to get the villagers directly out of the container that they came in. Especially, this is a logical geek boy uh, design, that container for the villagers and the whole breeder. And it even comes with something to get them all out, but I just didn't bother doing it. Uh, and I figured it'd be easier just to get them out manually. I don't know if it was. It was kind of a difficult process. But we can go ahead. I took the bed out of here. Uh, just to get some of the villagers out. We'll replace that. We've got this farm turned off now So we don't need to worry about any new villagers spawning for the time being I gotta say mining with this world generation is the best thing ever I just went and got 54 diamonds. It took me barely any time at all You basically just have to fly around with the elytra do some little landings on some of the very low platforms And you're able to get diamonds pretty quickly that way uh, so we can go ahead pop those into our ender chest and I think we're actually gonna go over and hit the shopping district because we've got a lot of diamonds now and I want some shulker boxes. 
All right, so this is the pumpkin farm right here. Uh, it is producing pumpkins way faster than 19. 19's in a very short amount of time. Uh, so we're doing really good on that. We've also got the melon farm now. We're actually gonna make more of these farms to get more emeralds uh, throughout the season. But I'm not too worried about getting those built up just quite yet. We have a lot of stuff we need to take care of. Uh, but these things are producing really well so far, so we'll definitely duplicate these farms. Uh, probably just go down some levels right underneath where they are currently, so we don't have to do anything uh, else but just collect them all right in this area right here. All right, we also need to get this tunnel right here finished up. This goes over to our villager uh, trading hall from like our nether portal and that little industrial area. So we're gonna go ahead, get this all finished up looking like the sewer system uh, for the entrance to the nether portal and everything. And hopefully we can get everything looking just right. We have to excavate this entire floor and the walls before we're able to do that. And boom, just like that, through the power of editing, we've got it finished up here. These torches are spaced out just right so that we don't have any mob spawning in this area. And we've got the whole thing built up. We've got the water dripping from the roof. We've got uh, just splashes of water, puddles, holes in the wall, things like that. Given it all the detail we need to, this thing is good to go. So we've got this whole section built up now. I do need to work a little bit on uh, that entrance right there. Uh, with the metal bars and of course this back wall but we've now got this whole thing covered uh, sealing everything and this will be just kind of our main villager trading hall area and right above this is where the actual uh, castle and everything like that is going to be I think we can actually pop into free cam mode here so this you can see the trading hall is directly under uh, that starter house that we built and then we'll go ahead and build up the castle just surrounding this entire island and having it decay uh, just like the kind of sewer system that we've got going on and the starter house. Alright, so we are in just a little AFK room uh, just outside of my melon and pumpkin farm, but I want to show you guys, I actually went and bought a ton of shulkers from the shulker shop in the shopping district. Uh, we've got four more here apart from all the ones we've got in our inner chest already, so we'll definitely need to buy some more to fill up the inner chest and to do uh, some more separating things like that when we have other projects, but for now, this is super helpful. I don't have to run across the entire base anymore. As long as I have my inner chest with me, we are good to go. But that is about going to wrap up this episode. So we'll end off here just in this little hut. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying ZetaCraft so far, let me know down in the comments section below. Also drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'm making ZetaCraft content, of course, and a bunch of other stuff. So definitely stick around and check it all out. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.